Hey family, how are you? So what's today? It's it's literally Sunday because it's like 12 o'clock at night on a Saturday. So it's technically Sunday. So this video is in real time and this is right now. This is a little bit different from the content that I would normally make. But what prompted me to make this video is because someone sent me this DM and you know, I'm not, I'm not no messy ass, drama, full fake ass bitch. You know, that's not me. So number one, I do have an opinion. Number two, I wasn't going to answer nobody's opinion in private. Like I wasn't going to give nobody my opinion in private so they could switch up my words or try to screenshot something or whatever. Right? So I'm going to give y'all my personal opinion on Peach McIntyre. Let's make it very clear as a content creator myself. Um, I feel like we put our business out there. So when people say something about it, we can't really get mad because, bitch, you told us. So, you know, we're entitled to have opinions. Um, also, before anyone try to say something like, oh, my God, you're trying to use her name to get views. <laughs> Check my views. I've been that girl. But um, I do have an opinion. I don't know her personally. Honestly, I don't even follow her. I follow her gambling channel for a while because I'm a weirdo that likes to see people gamble. And I also like to see people do scratch offs. Please don't judge me. Okay. I just like it. And then a couple months ago, I started seeing her actual content and I was drawn in for the same reasons everybody else was drawn in, baby. It's a lot that be happening, but it's a lot that be happening in my life as well. So i want to give my opinion again i don't know her personally i know just as much as you know okay i like that peach mcintyre is transparent because i am a very transparent person so i definitely feel her on that level um i even be so deep into it but sometimes i be reading her comments i mean i be watching a video first of all when i watch people videos i don't even watch it i listen to it and i go through their comment section that's how i watch youtube videos but i feel like she receives a lot of scrutiny and i get it because people love to like judge your life to make them feel better about their own lives. I do feel like her content is genuine and I do feel like the thing she going through is a thing. Like I know people like to say, you're making this up for views, you're doing this for likes. I kind of don't think so. Um, I do understand her. First of all, let me first say that I can relate to her on the part where being hurt, like being hurt and not being able to let go. I, one, take marriage very seriously, hence why I'm not married. I feel like once I get married to somebody, like, I'm going to stand by my vows through thick or thin. Like, I don't plan on getting a divorce, even though I know things happen and people change. Hence why I got three baby daddies and 19 kids, because it's like, <laughs> bitch, I was dumb a lot of times. And I get being foolish, and I get, like, knowing that the situation is wrong, I get wanting to get out of something and you genuinely feel like I cannot like people look at you and say how can you not you don't make any sense you you if you with somebody that's abusive they're like the nigga's knocking you out how can you not leave it's hard like you married to somebody they using you they're abusing you how can you not get a divorce it's hard okay I understand how it feels to try to pray a feeling away like I've been in relationships where I literally prayed it away, like in the shower in tears, like, God, I cannot leave this man. Please remove him from my life. Like, I get it. So I truly believe that all of those feelings is valid and I understand it and I completely get where she's coming from when y'all see like what she shows us, like the back and forth, like I want to leave, but I can't leave. I'm divorcing them. Now we back together. I completely understand the codependency. I completely understand the feeling of being safe in somebody's arms, even though it's the worst place and the most unsafe place to be. Like you're literally all I know. And I'd rather stay with the mess that I know than to go find a new mess. Like I understand wanting to get out of something, but just not knowing how. But what I don't understand is a mother. I am a mother of four, so I'm qualified to speak on it. As a mother, the love for my children supersedes every emotion that I may feel. Now, when I wasn't a mother, 
I don't want to do some shit. And I just wouldn't get out of it because I ain't have no reason to. But when it comes to being a mother, and as I, as I stated, I'm only going off what's been told on the internet. I'm only speaking on the same thing you know is what I know. What you heard is what I heard. I don't know this lady personally. But I've heard her mention that her kids has witnessed, been a witness to a lot of things that her and her husband has gone through. I think that's my breaking point. And um, again, I can relate to the feeling of not knowing how. I don't know how to leave you. I don't know how to not love you. I don't know what, I don't know how to not need you. Like I don't know how even though i know what i need to do and the steps could be clear as day i physically mentally and emotionally feel like i cannot but the pain in my children's eyes are where to force me my children seeing me getting physically mentally or emotionally abused are where to force me having older children where they can feel your pain see your pain and they're old enough to understand it'll force me so in that place of not having a way, in that place of feeling like I cannot, in that place of like, God, please, I cannot leave. When I look at my children, I'm out. You hear me? My nigga, I don't care what you say. I don't care how much I break down. I don't care how bad I hurt. I don't care how bad I feel like I can't. I'm out. And I can't explain it. And I can't tell you the proper steps to take, but the moment you are in the midst of a verbal argument, a physical, domestic situation, I look over to my children. My nigga, enough is enough. Because you, you can do whatever to me. I'm an adult. But you playing with me in front of my kids, my kids' experience and my hurt. My, listen, we, we can take kids out and we can make them happy and we can spend money on them and we can give them whatever they want. But we ain't breaking them generational curses, baby. If you got to come right back home and experience the same thing we did as a kid, what are we changing? If my mama did X, Y, and Z to me, yeah, I might have a little bit more money than my mama. I may give them a little better life than my mama. But emotionally, what am I putting my children through? That's going to be that strength that I need to move on. Father or no father, husband or no husband, if you can't have enough respect for these children, these are your children. These are our children. To know now is not the time. Every family fights and argues. I don't care how y'all try to paint y'all picture to be on social media. But nigga, we're going to do it when these kids is at school. And no, we ain't doing it while they sleep because they could still hear me. When it come to my children, that's going to be the strength I need right there to be out. And I get it. I've watched videos where she said, like, you know, her oldest son, he understands and he he relates. And I get it. That's still his dad. You still his mom. And he just shouldn't be going through it. He shouldn't feel it, especially if you've been through it. If you've been through it as a kid, you know that feeling. You ever heard your parents argue? Nigga, fuck that. Because some of us ain't even have parents. You ever heard your mama and your daddy argue on the phone? You ever heard your mama argue with one of her baby daddies? You ever heard your mama argue with her boyfriend? You know how traumatizing that is? It's just like, that is the place you have to find your strength, your children. Because what I can see from on the camera, as I said, I know just as much as y'all know, it looks like she's an amazing mom. It looked like she has mommyhood down pat. Find that strength in your children. And clearly, you know you could do it on your own because you put videos out here where you could do it on your own. And I know that feeling of like, I've watched her cry on camera and I felt every tear. Like people, and then you got these people in the comment section like, oh, please, you ain't leaving him. You, it ain't because <laughs> it ain't that easy, but it don't take away from my hurt. And it don't take away from my pain. And honestly, I got to go through it to grow through it. But at some point, we got to look at our children and say, nah. I know I can't leave you, but they, they don't deserve this. And this is coming from the person. I'm pretty sure she don't know me from a hole in the wall. Baby, I done got up on this camera and told people that my mother was a drug addict. And that's the person I love more than anybody on the face of this earth. You hear me? I done got up on this camera and told people my struggles with my teenage daughter. I done got up on this camera and put put it right out there. My transitions in life with me struggling with my baby daddy. 
if anybody had been in here for a while, y'all know what I went through with that situation. I put it all out there. Like, I mean, tormented. You hear me? Like, y'all know the videos y'all have watched about me from that man and his significant other calling the police to my house three and four times a day telling them I'm in here trying to commit suicide. I'm in here trying to kill my kids. Like, y'all see, I recorded it all on camera and put it out there. Videos of the cops knocking at my door three and four and five times a day. It, it was real weird to a point where I couldn't even walk out my house because I was being threatened. Like, it got real in my life and I put that all out there. So, I know how it feels to can't escape something. But it's possible. It's possible it's going to feel like it's impossible in the now because you're going through it. But when you get through it, you're going to be like, no way. I, that that couldn't have been my life. That couldn't have been me. Like, th that, was, that was me? I was once in that situation? No way I came back from that. I promise you, you can do it. You just have to find strength somewhere and let that strength be in them children. It's like, I want you to mind fuck yourself, kind of. Like, if I'm going to struggle with you here, what's going to be the difference when you're gone? And that part sound easy. Because I done been in situations where I thugged it out with your worst nigga. Just because I was in love with love, even if the love wasn't real. Or being alone hit different. I really used to say dumb stuff like, I'd rather struggle with you here. At least I'm struggling with someone and I'm not alone. Like, sis, that ain't make no sense. You losing life and losing yourself, make it make sense. You think that makes sense? But back then, it made sense to me. It made so much sense. And then people going to judge you a little bit harder. A little bit harder. You know why? Because you come on the camera sometimes, and it's like, that lady got a husband and seven kids, and my husband, and, and he's so fine, and he's such a man, and he's such a father, and da 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 and then the next husband is that the next video that lady divorced her husband and got seven kids so now people automatically gonna judge you right but they don't know that's regular shit for all the married folks how many times out of the month you wake up and can't stand your husband can't stand the smell of him the thought of him the look at him his face you hate the way that nigga chew but you can't see yourself without him but you on Instagram, you share all the good moments when you you looking at him and he's a great father. Y'all playing and y'all playing house. You don't get on the internet and say, this morning, the, this nigga cough made me dislike him. I hate this nigga's shoes. You didn't share that. Even though you felt it, you didn't share it. Because you like, eh, I don't want nobody in my business. I don't want nobody judging me. The difference between her and people like myself is we put it all out there. So you judge us a little bit more. Because we actually speak those feelings. I promise you it's regular normal stuff. But when it gets to the point of like you speaking of abuse and it's your mental health is at stake. We start to look like the crazy ones now. So everybody going to be like, bitch, you okay? You're a little mentally off. Like your mental health is declining a little bit. And I don't even think you know. Um, I know she mentioned like, you know what? He's the cleansy one and she's not and she's the breadwinner and he's not. You know, that's regular households, right? Don't let people get on this internet and hype you up. A man is supposed to be a breadwinner winner, and women are supposed to clean. Your traditional ass household, you keep that over there. Whatever works for you and your marriage, let it work. Maybe you're just really great at making money and maybe he's not. Just like you don't want to clean but he's really good at it it's called balance and it's a-okay if you balance in each other's out but the problem comes when you start taking on more of the burden so it's like okay i can't make the money and pay for a maid when you're really good at cleaning because technically what the fuck are you doing like you mentioned that he won't get up and won't get the kids ready or won't take the kids to school so i don't know what we're doing here roommate but I'm going to need you to be a husband. Because if I'm the breadwinner, mm, you're kind of a stay-at-home dad. Even though I work from home, I'm still working. So you're the stay-at-home dad. I'm going to need you to get up and I'm going to need you to partake. Because guess what? My mental health matters. And if you feel like you can't live up to these duties, eh, kind of pointless. Even sexually, I've heard her mention a lot of times how she's been with this one man for so very long 
you know, I've been so into somebody sexually because I've slept with them for so long that I thought this was the best day I ever had in my life. Like, oh, would she say that word good? Like, I done been there when I've been like, no, daddy D is everything. You ever broke up with a nigga? Ain't been with him for a long time and double back? You be like, where did it go? Did it shrink? Was it always this whack? Baby, where there's good, there's always better. <laughs> take it from me so right now it may feel like oh my god sexually he knows my body and this has been the same penis i've had for so long and it's the greatest i've ever had it gets better and there's plenty in the sea and some of them they cook they clean they work yeah it comes with a lot so any excuse you can make in your head for why i'm still here you have to counteract that thought why am i here and if your answer continues to be, I'm just dumb. I'm here because I'm dumb. I'm just stupid. I know I shouldn't be here, but I stay. That one is that one gets tiring, baby, because look at them kids again. Remember, let's go back to our kids, and we love them more than we love anything. We love them more than we love ourselves, and I damn sure love them more than I love any man. So if we keep answering it with, I'm dumb, I'm stupid, let's look at the babies. Yeah, they deserve better. So we're going to have to be proactive and see what we can do. And we're going to take the steps to getting better. Whether it's, listen, realistically, we have children. So don't let this internet come hype you up and say, ah, you, you better leave this man alone and never talk to him again. For the people who were here from the very beginning of my journey with my toxic baby daddy, guess what? Here it is a year and a half later, we co-parent amazing. Uh, me that ain't my friend. I don't fuck with him like that. Don't even like him like that. But when it comes to co-parenting, we are doing it effortlessly. You know why? Number one, we started to use intelligence over emotions. Anytime you and another person cannot co-parent, it's because there's some type of emotional attachment here. And I'm not saying you want that man or that man wants you. But there's some underlying emotion that's there that needs to get rid of. And, and it, it was into play. It was there because what we was arguing about, why your girlfriend doing this? And why your girlfriend doing that? And why your significant other doing it? First of all, that's none of your business. That's that emotional attachment that something needs to happen about. Something need to happen about that because that's the problem. And once we start co-parenting and using our intelligence and minding our business and doing what's best for these children, things work out. So honestly, to be very transparent with you, that man would, he will never be out of your life. But you don't have to let him control it. And maybe he's not meant to be the husband in your life. Maybe he's meant to be a father. And that all comes with not being emotionally attached. And that takes time. It may take years. But it's possible. So this was my reason behind this whole entire video. You asked the question, baby girl. And I answered it. Um, I don't know if she'll ever see this video. But in no way, shape, or form, my clout chasing... Uh, Ain't no way in shape or form am I attacking you because mental health really matters. And if there's anything I can tell you personally, it's to really put yourself first. And you have to really be selfish with yourself because at the end of the day, if you're not okay, your kids can't be okay because you can't be all you can be for them. So that's what it really, if, if there's anything I can tell you, that's exactly what I would tell you. But, um... This is not going to be like, no, I'm a react to commentary type of session. We ain't going to be doing this because I'm not this type of girl. And, you know, I make a coin on my social media. I try to keep everything a little because, you know, I like sponsorships and all that. So, you know, but I just wanted to. I had time, bitch. So I answered the question. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm here. Welcome to the family. See you later.